It's not just swastikas or vandalism anymore. Just yesterday, a Crown Heights resident was the victim of an ugly anti-Semitic confrontation posted to Twitter. Your coats? What do you mean you're all? You Jewish people. Oh, you Jewish people. Yeah. All Jews are the same. I was once Jewish. Oh, all Jews are the same, right? Yeah. All Jews are the same. Because y'all all created the coat. You just spit at me. The day before, this man verbally assaulted a Manhattan rabbi on his way to morning prayers. Anti-Semites, this guy. Attack, watch out for him. This is the NYPD reported a dramatic increase in hate crimes in New York City. The increase fueled by anti-Semitic incidents. The NYPD reported a 67% increase in hate crimes since the beginning of the year. 145 incidents compared to 87 for the first four months of 2018. 82 of the 2019 incidents were anti-Semitic, an 82% increase. The increase in anti-Jewish sentiment coming on the heels of the attack on a California synagogue Sunday, the last day of Passover, in which a gunman opened fire with an assault rifle. One woman was killed and three others injured. I think it's really clear, Marsha, the forces of white supremacy have been unleashed. Evan Bernstein of the Anti-Defamation League blames it on the internet. People are using online platforms to rile themselves up and also get their messaging out to other people to get them riled up. And uh, now instead of people maybe just, you know, putting a swastika out there or doing, say, you know, harassment, certain people now are using weapons. Police officials tell me that hate crime arrests have doubled this year. And about those two people in the recent incidents, well, they're looking for them. In Lower Manhattan, I'm Marsha Kramer, CBS 2 News.